So I got the chance to taste not just food, but also some of the Matakana region's more delicious wines. Thanks to the great folk at Ascension Wine Estate. Take a look. Situated just 45 minutes north of Auckland in the beautiful countryside of Matakana sits the stunning Ascension Wine Estate. A place that does everything from corporate events to large concerts, from a wedding to an intimate romantic dinner. Or maybe just a great place to stop and play some huge chess. How can one place do all of that? Well, should we just go and take a look? Come with me. It's not just grapes that make a great wine, you also need a great winemaker. So basically I look after uh, all the vineyard and the winery, um, so right, right the way through the process from uh, tending to the young vines all the way through to uh, harvesting grapes and, and making the wine. So this is the winery, so we process all, basically the, the grapes through to wine in here. We do about nine tonnes, so we're very, very small, 9,000 kilos of, of, of grapes a year. Uh, about a thousand cases. I noticed some stairs just around the corner, I think. Should we go down there and have a look? Yeah, we'll go down and have a look, eh? Okay, cool, let's go. So this is our barrel cellar. Um, all the wine comes down here, pretty much all of our wines come down here for at least six months. So it's a three-step process, really. Uh, mm -hmm. The first thing you need to do is to actually uh, look at the wine and observe sort of what colour it is. Um, this can give you an indication of how old the wine is. Second thing you need to do is uh, put your nose in it and, and give it a good sniff. Third thing is, and the best part is to is to drink it. Okay, cool. So don't take a massive sip; just take a, a medium-sized sip. Hold it in your mouth for a little bit. Let the wine kind of circulate in your mouth. Don't breathe the air over it. So lovely citrus there. I was going to cool. say, I can say, yeah, there's a little bit of citrus in there, but I didn't want to say it just in case there wasn't, and I look like a fool. Ed, what have you got for us here? Yeah, we've got the 2015 uh, the Countryman Tanat. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's another beautiful drop. It's a little bit I've of, got a bit, a, bit, a bit of spice in there. Yeah, nice. A little bit of vanilla in as well, maybe. Um, and some nice raspberry characters. Uh, it's, it spends two years in oak, um, and, and that really helps it to soften out. Um, prior to that, it's, it's pretty rough and, and, and raw. Where are we going now, Scott? Uh, I think we'll try some port out of the barrel, Mike. Out of the barrel? Okay, well this is exciting. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, it smells so good. Wow. I, I guess what you're teaching us is that just a little bit of care and a little bit of knowledge takes your wine experience to a different level and that's what you guys like to do here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, appreciation is, is, is what we love um, and people taking the time to actually taste the product and, and have a think about it is, is, is great. The stunning interior and exquisite outdoors are all important at Ascension, but it's the environment that gives the wine its uniqueness. What do you think makes the wine from Ascension different from anything else? So we've got a really um, steep north facing slope and some really good uh, free draining clay soils. And I think the unusual varieties as well. Um, we've got a bit of something for everyone. That's a really uh, nice aspect of what we can do and the combination with the restaurant is, is, is a really good thing. You must love your job. I do love my job, uh, but it is a lot of hard work, as, as with any job. But, you know, I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. So then when you've done some wine tasting and you've eaten a beautiful meal, you can come outside and you can, well, walk by the fountain of youth, hopefully. It's calling my name. Or you can come here and look at this. You can play giant chess in this beautiful outdoor setting. But can I just say, Whenever you're at the Ascension Wine Estate, no matter what move you make, it'll always be the right one. <laughs> Don't laugh. That was, a good, that was a good ending to that clip. Whatever move you make, how long did it take you to think of that one? Oh, all day. Had to drink a bit to get there. And I like the way, I like the way that Scott said to you, he had to say, no, you can, not a big sip, just a medium sip. OK, OK. <laughs> And where was I? Was I not available that day? Uh, last minute thing, Mal. I just, I just ended of up course. there, unfortunately. Of course. Yes.